Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is it's making no sense. The scripture comes from John 15. I am the true vine and my father is the vine grower. He prunes away every barren branch, but the fruitful ones he trims clean to increase their yield. You are clean already thanks to the word I have spoken to you. Live on in, in me as I do in you. No more than a branch can bear fruit of itself apart from the vine. Can you bear fruit apart from me? I am the vine, you are the branches. He who lives in me and I in him will produce abundantly. For apart from me, you can do nothing. A man who does not live in me is like a withered, rejected branch, picked up to be thrown in the fire and burnt. If you live in me and my words stay a part of you, you may ask what you will, it will be done for you. My father has been glorified and you're bearing much fruit and becoming my disciples. So here's the message. It's not making no sense. Your enemies are saying that they do not understand. They do not understand. They do not understand. They do not understand. Every attack that they throw towards you, God blesses you through it. They are confused. They don't understand. They don't understand. It's not making sense. It's not making any, like the sense of logic has, has simply just withered away. They don't understand how it is possible that you are still blessed as, after they have just thrown this and they have thrown that and they have thrown this and they have thrown that. But what did God say? What did Jesus say? I am the true vine and my father is the vine grower. He prunes away every barren branch, but the fruitful ones he trims clean. So every branch that is acting as if it is connected to God will be cut off from him. What does this mean? That this means that the and the branches that are of God, they will receive pruning. What is pruning? Okay, as someone that is a gardener in my in my spare time, okay, that is my hobby. Okay. <laughs> when you prune a plant, um, you are taking away certain things so that the energy can go towards new fruit, okay. Um, when you have a plant that is growing a, like a tomato plant per se, because tomatoes are one of the most famous plants that receive a lot of pruning. When you prune a tomato plant, you are taking off branches that are only going to produce leaves and are going to just, like we, the purpose of growing the tomato is of course the fruit. We don't eat the leaves. And because we don't eat the leaves, we if we see it's too many leaves, you go in there and you cut the leaves off so it can produce more fruit. This is the same thing with a, um, Lord, you know I can't talk. This is the same thing with uh, herbs, okay? When it comes to herbs and you are pruning, let's say you have some thyme and, or some mint and you're trying to prune your plant, and the more that you cut off the top and use, the more that you will receive. These kind of plants, if you, cut, if you don't do anything to them, yes, they will grow, but they are not going to grow as um, vibrant as they would if you prune them. See, if you don't cut them, then they're going to do what they usually do. They're going to grow, and then they're going to flower, and then they will produce seed, and then they will be done. But if you prune them, if you prune them, if you prune them, if you prune them, they will continue to grow and continue to grow. Some of them will continue to come back year after year and giving you yield. Some of them would simply just not die out, okay? Depending on your climate, and if it, regardless if it freezes or not, they may just keep growing. For years, for years, tomato plants too. I saw somebody um, that had videos about their garden and he went to his tomato plant and said, this tomato plant has been growing for years. I think he said three years and it is still producing fruit, plenty of fruit, plenty of fruit, but it, it depends on the gardener. And if God is your gardener and he is pruning you, even if you lose a few things, Whatever it is that you lost, God is saying that you will be able to grow it back. You will be able to get it back. Anytime he takes something away from you, it is so that you he can add to you. Your enemies are looking at you saying that this makes no sense. 
That is preposterous. They are confused. Every time they strip you of something, every time they take something from you, God gives you something back and it's 10 times better than what they took away. Whatever it is that they have conned themselves into. Let's say if your, your enemy is like a bird that comes in and eats all your tomatoes, the bird comes in and just keeps eating at your fruit, keeps eating at your fruit. And every time the enemy comes and eats at your fruit, the gardener, God comes and just cuts it away. It's tainted. It's no good no more. We're going to cut it away. We're going to remove that. And guess what? You're going to grow some more fruit. And they can be as confused as they want to. They can be as lost as they want to. They can be an confirmation. Okay, I just got a notification. Confirmation. They can be as confused as they want to be. They can be as um, dumbfounded as they want to be. They can be as astonished as they want to be. But God says he is not... He, he, he is not a man that he should lie. It is not the kind of case where God is going to promise you something and then not give it to you. God is not going to tell you, oh, look, I'm going to give you this thing. Now I'm going to make sure you have this thing. This thing is going to be yours. And then when it come down to it, he, he give it to you and then take it back and start laughing. God will not do you in that sense. Okay, God will not do you like that. However, a man who does not live in me is like a withered, rejected branch picked up to be thrown in the fire and burnt what they don't understand is when they go through things they are not receiving the kind of fruit that you receive they are not going to receive the kind of blessings you receive because god is rejecting them because they refuse to repent of their sin they refuse to turn away from their sin they refuse they refuse they refuse they refuse god says if you live in me and my words stay a part of you you may ask what you will. It will be done for you. It doesn't matter what you asking for. It don't matter what you asking for. God says he will provide it for you. Whatever you ask for, he will provide. Whatever, if you are asking God to protect you, you bet your bottom dollar he going to protect you. If you are asking God for sanity, you bet your bottom dollar he going to make sure you have sanity. If you have been asking God for peace, you will have peace. In the midst of turmoil, your enemies could be literally standing right next to you your enemy could literally be trying to attack you your enemy could literally be setting up all these traps and all these ploys and doing all this stuff and god said he still got you and they will be shocked and astonished to find that no matter what they do or how they do it it's not going to work it's not going to make sense. It's going to defy all logic. And see, they may have been able to do this, whatever they are doing, to someone that wasn't a part of God. They may have been able to pull a fast one on somebody that was living in a, a life of sin and living a life of darkness, but they have not been able to pull one on you. And they can't pull one on you because you belong to God. When you belong to God, it's not going to work. When you belong to God and whatever evil they got going on, it's not going to pass. God said it's just not going to happen. They can let it go. They can let it go. God says your enemies are going to be astonished. Of how he is going to pull you out. Your enemies will be astonished at the things that you know that you shouldn't know. Your enemies will be astonished of how, the, the, like, it, it's just, it, 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 that's the message. God says they are saying that it does not make any sense. You are defying all logic. They should have been destroyed you. They should have been had you. You should have been gone. They, they don't understand how it's not working. Every plan they make, it don't work. Every plot that they put together, it don't work. It won't work, and they don't understand. They are restless at night trying to figure out why it's not working. Every time they put a plan together, God say they have sleepless nights because they are so excited, and they feel like they got the perfect plan, and they got all their ducks in a row, and everything is just perfect. And when it don't work out the way they thought it would, they are angry, they are upset, they are frustrated, and they are bothered. God says it's never going to work. It's never going to work. And I don't know if you know this, but every time the enemy makes a plot against you, it don't matter who you are. If you are a part of the body of Christ, they will confess it in ways they thought they couldn't. In ways that they will believe as though they didn't. It's like they can't help it. Sometimes they be so excited about their little plans that they spill the beans on accident. But God says that's him using them. They don't even under. They don't even know. They don't even understand. They confused. They don't understand. How did you know? How did you know? How did you know? How did you know? They spilled the beans on themselves and the Holy Spirit gave you the sermon to figure out what they was plotting and planning on you. 
God said it don't matter what they put together. It don't matter what they plan. It don't matter how they plan it. It don't matter how perfect they think it is. It will not come to pass. Because the only thing he does to his fruit, to his branches, he prunes away so that he can give more. And to these branches that do not belong to him, he, prun he prunes them off and throws them into the fire. All they doing is writing themselves a check to hell. And that's the message. That's the message. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.